Howdy folks, Stray Cat 74 here. Welcome back to the Basement of Solitude. We're back on Furra Treks, and as you can see, my in-shop office is missing. So, you'll also see that uh, everything's out from underneath the stairs. Let's come up the stairs. The little trap doors are missing. All the stuff is out of here. My donations chest has been removed. This is just going to be a quick little video to show you what all's going on. Um, I've added cooked cod, and this is just going to end up being like a food store, restaurant kind of thing. Uh, because it was getting way too crowded in here. The walls were completely covered with boxes. Um, yeah, sure, you can read what the thing says, but one of the complaints was, you can't just see it. I mean, like, I put that there to show... It's right next to the thing that says cooked cod. That's a piece of cod, and it's been cooked, and there's the thing. So, we also, I needed a little bit more room, so mostly food for now, so check out my sail boat over by the A-line. Now, if you remember, we're at E7, so let's go over to the A-line. <laughs> which is all the way down here. <clears throat> Past a whole bunch of empty shops. To my sail boat. First thing you'll see on the on the dock here is my potato store. Baked potato store. Long day of shopping, have a baked potato. You know, eight baked potatoes for a gold paw. You can see my cannons are my face over and over again. Somebody left a boat out here. And as you can see, it's not really much of a boat, but... I've got my little bimini top here. Let's uh, hop out here right quick. You can see the the bow of my boat here. And we have you know, up in the upper right hand corner, you'll see we have some conduit power going on. Swim, swim, swim. Oop. Hmm, interesting. Okay, well, let's come to the back of the boat here the aft, and you'll see this is my sail boat. Yes, I'm that punny. This was built by Wolf George 10 for me. Wolf George also runs the library over there where he sells various um, enchanted books. So if we walk in here, we can see a real fancy fad floor and all. And I did change a few things up after he, uh, he built the structure of the boat for me. So, you know, I added these little things at the, at the corners of the door. I put the little shelves in, and for whatever reason, that one doesn't connect. That's annoying. Hang, it up, hang on just one second here. Let me see if I can get that. Uh... Boom. Okay, there we go. Now, I can't get it to come around the corner there, but, you know, whatever. So, we got more cooked cod here. We have an ender chest over here in the corner below the light, and that's on all three levels. But you'll see that here in a little bit. Here's slime balls, one of my most popular items that people have bought the hell out of. Is slime balls. I make a I I make a lot of those, and as you can see, yeah, th this box was full the other day when I put it in here, and somebody had already bought out, you know, a little more than eight stacks of slime blocks. We've got iron, my other extremely popular item that I sell. And iron armor is at iron prices. Now, chain mail is a find only, and I get that through my Skelly Farm. You guys have seen that a couple of few times. So, I have to get these, repair them, before I can sell them. So, they're a little bit more expensive than plain old iron armor. They give just as much protection, but, you know, they look cooler. Then we have end stone. There's a little end rod hiding in the back corner there for light. Some magma, magma cubes, or magma blocks, rather. Then up here in this little bow compartment, we've got torches, blaze rods, 
grass blocks, glowstone, and glowstone dust. Um, end rods that I make and uh, feathers from all my chickens. I, I got a lot of chickens. And I've got a few boxes here that don't have anything in them yet. Uh, jungle logs, ender chests, and I've sold quite a few of those. I had almost 30 in there at one point. So apparently a lot of people need ender chests. So kelp block, eggs, and like I said, a couple empty chests. Let's go up to the premium I uh, item level, which is the top deck here. And as you can see, you know, U.S. Coast Guard regulations require an anchor light, and I've got the proper anchor light set, even though it's a shop, not a not an actual boat. But you know, I thought it was cute. I thought that was a nice touch. So, up here in the bow, we have diamond armors at diamond prices. And we've got gunpowder. We've got quite a bit of gunpowder. And then back here in the captain's cabin, you can tell it's the captain's cabin because it's the only part of the boat that's got carpeting. We've got diamonds, and yes, that's a little bit of a discounted diamond price. Um, I'm matching what Wolf George is charging in his shop, and he reduced the price, so so did I. Then we have emeralds. He used to be charging 40 and then... 20, now it's 25 and 12, and then mending books. Um, one of the other guys in the mall here is selling mending books for 1,200. I was selling them for 1,000, and now Wolf George over there in his library is charging 500, so I'm price matching on him. So that's the lowest price on mending books that you're going to find on the server, and yes, I have that many mending books. I actually have a couple of more that wouldn't fit in here, but, you know, I have to make more emeralds. Ooh, somebody bought some emeralds. Woohoo! Make more emeralds, because I don't want to take out of my stock here, because I, I have been selling them, as you just saw, to get more mending books. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. Go back up, go back up. I also, I have the ladder to come up here. Yeah, there's nothing up here. It's just, you know, one of those nifties. I should put a, a <laughs> trap door on it, but... Anywho, let's go to the bottom level. This has more stuff in it than anywhere else in my, in my sail boat. So we've got dies, and again, this is... The complaint was you could read the thing, but you couldn't actually see what it was. So, dyes, cocoa, uh, cocoa beans, lapis. Now, lapis not only does dyeing of wool and such, but it's also used for enchanting. Now, in most cases, like with lapis and with uh, bone blocks, or with bone meal, I should say, um, those are at admin shop prices. So, I went to the admin shop, and I found out how much bone meal was. And I used a calculator, and I figured out how much it would cost at the admin shop to make a bone block. And it came out to a, a funky number, and I ended up going with four blocks for 36 when you buy them from me. Um, I also have a buy price of, of a lot lower than that because, well, I, do, I don't want people driving me bankrupt by selling me crap, but I do have that so that I can help perpetuate the economy. Uh, white wool, same idea. Seagrass, that's a decorative. Um, I'm going to do other decorative things down here. Um, that's not decorative, it's just I wanted to show that's, that's how that could be done. Um, I don't have a way to put it, well... Yeah, with the with the ladder there, I don't have a way to put a thing, a uh, item frame on the side of that one. So, but I've got a flower fluffer for making uh, two high flowers, which are this uh, lilac peony. I think that's how that's spelled or pronounced. Spelled? No, that is how it's spelled. I just, you know, my pronunciation ain't all that good. Or, yeah, sunflowers and rose blushes. 
and poppies, then dandelions, as you can see right there, it's dandelions, where it's dandelions, or however. Then azure bluette, oxnide daisy, ink sacks, again, at admin shop prices. Magenta dye takes two different uh, ingredients to make, or you need uh, lilac for that, and since that's a, uh, a too high plant, and again, these are admin prices. Rose red is at the rose bush price. And then cactus and cactus green. Now this is the only one where the source and the result of cooked are right next to each other. Um, I probably should have these swapped, but that's the way they went in, so screw it. I don't care. <clears throat> Over here in the corner, you can just barely see the little dark block, and if we aim right there, we open up our ender chest. And then there's a light thing there. And I did the little bit with the floor here, and I added a little texture to the floor. You can see that, you know, if we left the floor like that, which is a full block, we wouldn't be able to open these chests to refill them. So I made half slabs, and then I figured, you know, what the hell, let's, let's do a little something like that. Because this was all birch. So I added a little bit of uh, oak in here too. Then I put in the uh, glowstone. So yeah, this is my sail boat, and yes, again, I am that cheesy. So anyhow, that's my sailboat, and I just wanted to show you that off for Minecraft Monday, that uh, I am still doing stuff, I still am in the server. I'm also still taking questions for my 20 questions video, which I'm hoping to do sooner rather than later. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow will be Tanking Tuesdays, and of course Fallout Fridays on Fridays, sometimes loaded up on Saturdays because, well, stuff happens. Um, anywho, like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon, leave a comment in the comment section below. Feel free to ask any questions you want. I will answer them honestly and openly, uh, except for, like, bank account information. You're, you're not getting that. Um, I have a Twitch. I have a Patreon. I have... Uh, well, obviously a YouTube channel. <laughs> so, if you want to support the channel, f please feel free to send me money via pay uh, PayPal to StrayCat underscore 74 at yahoo.com. Thank you much, and uh, we'll see you next Monday.